somebody that you think you, you think can take this from you? What you created? I mean, what if The Rock decides to return and goes up against you? I mean, I, uh, that. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Mm. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out Roman Reigns ahead of WWE SummerSlam at ESPN's first take. Uh, they announced he was going to be on first take on Monday Night Raw. So I want to see what he has to say. Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns go to first take to, you know, talk about uh, the upcoming match. Um, well, Roman's upcoming match with Jey Uso at this year's SummerSlam. Going to be in very interesting to see uh, what was said uh, and uh, what he, he brought to first take this morning so i definitely wanted to get this video out for you guys as soon as possible appreciate all love and support you guys shown on the channel link to the original video will be down below we're gonna get right into this one man acknowledge him he's the longest reigning <laughs> wwe universal champion in his fourth reign as the champ Wait, 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 wait. It's it's the way he came in. It's the way they, they slid the curtain back. They got the spotlight already there. Look at it. Acknowledge him. He's the longest reigning <laughs> WWE Universal Champion in his fourth reign as the champ. <laughs> he is one of the best wrestlers of all time and also the leader of the bloodline. This Saturday night will be taking on his cousin, Jay Uso for the undisputed WWE Universal title and status as the tribal chief at SummerSlam in Detroit. We welcome into the show Roman Reigns the man. and his wise man, Paul Heyman. I, I, I have to get Gentlemen. up here. I have to get Thank up here. Let me so let me let, let me here. pull out this chair for the wise man right here. Here, 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 here. Help the wise man. There you go. How are you, sir? Please. It is an honor. Acknowledge sir. your tribal chief. Yes, first. sir. <laughs> stupid. He said, please acknowledge your trouble chief first. Don't acknowledge me. Acknowledge him. To do this. Well, I had to do this. Yes. How are you, Molly? You got a hug. How are you? Good to see yes, you. Yes, I did. You got a hug yeah, from the just, tribal chief. Right. It's, it's <laughs> <good touch. laughs> Stop. Bro, Paul, hit the... you got a hug. You got a hug from the tribal chief. That that's that's very special. You need to. You need to really embrace that. <laughs> touching moment for me. This is it's a touching moment for me. <laughs> That's what we do. And he hits me. That's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> we, 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 we together. That's what we All do. right, gentlemen. Can we get into this? Because I got a lot of questions That's for right. you. Grab a seat, sir. Oh. Um, Roman, tell me this. Family business is a different deal. Gotcha. That's right. I so what's it. on the line bro, this, for your family? All this gold just sitting on the table, bro. All of it just sitting on the table. Now you don't lie to you. The Unspeedy Universal Championship does look good under the lights. I just, once again, I just really wish they would have gave him a different design because that's, you know, he merged both the belts, essentially. So I wish they would have gave him a little bit of a different design. I do like the gold backplate on the, behind the WWE signal. I just think it deserves a little bit of a, a switch up from the other belts, but it, it does look good under the lights. I will say that. <laughs> family for your bloodline this Saturday? Well, this Saturday, it's uh, it's a lot like every other championship defense. This will be on the line, but what makes this so special in tribal combat is the title of the tribal chief will be on the line as well. The the leadership of our family, the, this isn't the right kind of table, but the head of the table will be up for grabs. Mm -hmm. So this will um, define the future of our family, our legacy, and our bloodline. What does it mean to you to headline one of the biggest events of the year? I mean, at this stage and point in your career, being the headliner, being the star, being the marquee attraction, what does that mean to you at this point in your career? Uh, it's just another uh, opportunity to kind of push that gap between me and everybody else. This is something I've been doing for a long time. What makes it so special lately um, is the fact that I have my entire family surrounding me. To be able to bring everybody up, uh, to lift everybody up to a new level, um, I think that's what makes it so special. Okay. Molly, can I switch gears? Yeah. Can I switch gears? Yeah. This man right here, the great Paul Heyman. I, I mean, I, I mean, there's very few people that, that, that have a job, that have a career that I look at and I go like this. I, I wish I had that. I wish I had that. That is how I look at you, sir. How do you view yourself, Wiseman, 
a phenomenal personality in the sport of the WWE. I mean, what is it like to be you? I'm the GOAT. The goat. <laughs> I served as his manager for record six world champions, and he, he said he's the GOAT. He called himself the GOAT. I don't think anyone can refute. He's one of the greatest managers of all time, one of the greatest talkers of all time, one of the greatest wrestling minds for the wrestling business of all time. Simple. I, I mean, I can't even refute what he just said. He is the GOAT. <laughs> I'm the greatest of all time. Really? Yeah, undisputed. Undisputed? I mean, there was Bobby the Brain Heenan back in Screw the day. him. He's yeah. dead. Okay. Oh, oh, what? And Jimmy Hart's still alive, Jimmy which Hart. proves that God doesn't answer my prayers. Oh, oh my Lord. Wow. Do you want to prove to you that I'm the... Oh, he, he's different. <laughs> he said, screw him. He's dead. The other guy, he's alive. Bruce God to answer my prayers. Oh my God, damn. Goat. Okay, please. I'm with him. Okay. Why would he settle for anything less than the goat? Mm. Mm. He's the tribal chief. He's the biggest box office attraction in the history, not only of sports or entertainment, but of sports entertainment. He has smashed every box office record that WWE has ever had, not just domestically, but all over the world on a global basis. And he's done it in Saudi Arabia. He's mm. done it in the UK. He's done it in Mexico. He's done it in Canada. He's done it here in the United States. He continues to do it on SmackDown every Friday night, just topping the previous Friday nights. Why would... Oh, yeah, nah. He's bringing in numbers to SmackDown, bro. That's why they want him on fucking Fox. There's, there's no question about him. They want him exclusively on Fox because he does bring ratings. I don't, you may not like him, but he brings ratings. He's the draw. There's no denying Roman Reigns is the draw. Simple as that. Would he settle for anything less than the absolute best? That is a tough argument to make, but I, 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 I don't like to talk about it. I'm humble, do. you know. I don't, I don't like to say all this. Well, listen, listen, humble. listen. listen. The point is this: he, he does make a very good point, but I'm I humble. would like to remind you, sir. At least in America, let's take into account the greats of the past and and the the box office attractions, the Hulk Hogan's of the world, the Rockies family, of course, Goldberg and people like that. And I mean, you've had your, I mean, you've had your experiences, and you've had fighters who have fallen to such individuals. This man right here. You talk about what makes him special as a marquee attraction. What makes, I'm sorry, as a, as, as, as a fighter, as a wrestler, what makes him great as a marquee attraction? What are the elements that make him who he is? Roman but, Reigns? That's right. I'm he's completely him. redefined the industry. Explain. He, he's in a different genre than anybody else is. Uh, it, it, if you, if, and, and by the way, we do acknowledge the past. Shall I do it for you, sir? Yes, please. Uh-oh. See this guy right here? Yes. WWE can, can, can Championship. Can, please. Can, can, can I hold it? <laughs> I would have did the same Thank thing, so bro. Go ahead. WWE Listen. Champion. I'm aggressive. He's a little, he's a little, a little aggressive on A little thirsty. Passion. <laughs> yeah. Bruno San Martino. Yes. Superstar Billy Graham. That's right. Bob Backlund. Okay. Mm -hmm. Triple H. Mm -hmm. Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm -hmm. The Rock. Mm -hmm. John Cena. Mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. Go Brock down Lesner, the list. Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. Roman Reigns. Okay. See this one right here? Yes, sir. I'm looking at it. I'm looking Universal at it. Heavyweight Championship. Okay. Okay. Was well, the created championship. Mm -hmm. Did not have the lineage of San Martino, Morales, Superstar Billy Graham, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, John Cena, Brock Lesnar. Names go down the list. A created championship. 500 days held by Brock Lesnar. Started to get a little prestige. Never in the class of the WWE Championship. Roman Reigns becomes the Universal Heavyweight Champion. Tell him, Paul. And everybody forgets about the WWE title. And this becomes the title in WWE. He gonna hold you. He does have a point there. When Roman just only had the Universal Championship for the first time in... in even when Brock had it, obviously it felt like the top championship because Brock had it. But we didn't really see Brock with it much. So the WWE Championship was still something that in a lot of people's eyes and a lot of fans' eyes, it was still the top championship because we saw it more. When Roman was defending this on like during the pandemic era and on consistently, this, for the first time in, in my personal opinion, in its lineage, it felt like the top championship. It felt bigger than the WWE Championship only because, one, we finally got the Roman Reigns we always wanted. Two, he was putting on some great, fantastic matches. Three, the reign 
actually meant something. It meant it was important. And the blueberry belt became the most prestigious belt in the company. That's just my personal take on it. It became that way because of the guy that was holding it, because of the matches, because of the fuse that we were having. And it was what the fans finally wanted to see. Of course, some people got tired of it, but, you know, tired of him beating some of their favorites. But at the end of the day, there's no denying what Paul's saying right there does have some type of weight to it. Roman Reigns has made that blueberry belt, the Universal Championship, actually seem that more important than the WWE Championship, which is crazy to say. Even though I still love the WWE Championship more because of the lineage, obviously. I wish they should retire the Universal Championship because no one's ever going to touch that reign. No one's ever going to get it to that prestige ever again. I think they need to retire it. I would be all for it. Hopefully it happens whenever he does drop the belt. They can retire the Universal Championship because it's done. There's no one's going to touch that. They need to retire. This becomes the premier attraction. This becomes the Super Bowl ring. This becomes what Tom Brady is after, and we don't have to give half to Giselle's, to Giselle's attorneys. This is what the title becomes in WWE. Roman Reigns looks over and he says, wow, I want them both. Mm. I'm the tribal chief. I want the history and I want the future. Mm. What does he do? He merges the two championships. Okay. WWE is doing record-setting business. Yes, right they now. are. Big time. Thank you, my tribal chief. You're welcome. <laughs> he said you're welcome. They are doing some record-breaking numbers. <laughs> Just so we're clear, that's my baby right there. That's your baby right there. I did that. Okay. Yeah. I made that what it is. Okay. Yeah. And that's everything. And then I took that. Yeah. And made it what it is. Now, now we have this. So is there anybody that you think you, you think can take this from you? What you created? I mean, what if The Rock decides to return and goes up against you? I mean, I had that. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Mm. Mm. So, something got to happen at SummerSlam, bro. I can't fucking wait. What are y'all doing? What's, what's happening here? Mm. That could be a possibility. I think it could be a possibility. Is there anybody that you can foresee taking all of this from you one day, Mr. Roman Reigns? We don't see it. No, I mean, we, that's that's what this past year, year and a half has been, is containers. From Hold on, we got to go back, because he, he didn't really say nothing about it, though. Be a possibility. I think it could be somebody that you think you, you think could take Listen this to this. Like, what you created? I mean, what if The Rock decides to return and goes up against you? I mean, I, uh, that could be a possibility. I and think Roman it could be a possibility. Really Is there anybody that you can like foresee that. taking all of I like from that. you one day, Mr. Roman? Mm, we don't maybe. See no, I mean, we, that's that's what this past year, year and a half has been, is contenders from everywhere. Brock Lesnar, John Cena, they come from Hollywood. They come from other sports. It, it, Logan Paul. Mm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anymore. I think you did say you were a bit humble just a second ago. You liked that to him. I leave. You said, it's a, it's that, the, I mean, you, the business <laughs> side. I like him to throw out this, the, the <laughs> metrics, the stats, all that, you know, the analytics that. But, but you know, I like to keep it. Uh, Is there more on the line because you're facing your cousin? Of course, always. I, I mean, in a perfect world, he's by my side, making sure that nothing changes. We continue to rule this world. That, but he's selfish. Like anybody, mm. any family member, any friend that you help out. I like what he's doing here. Much, it goes to their head a little bit. They mm -hmm. they they get a, a a sense for a level that they're not quite used to. They want it. They they covet it. I like and, what and he's doing And now he's trying here. to make it his. But that's not the way it's set up. Mm. Like I said, I'm the head of the table. I'm the leadership around here. I have the vision. I I know what needs to be done. And and like he said. Mm. Well, one could ask who are you leading because, again, you're the head of the table, but in the same breath, you got family members going up against you. Usually family members, they, you know, they, they, they stick together and what have you. Your family members are not necessarily sticking together. They're trying to take what you have. How do you feel about that? That's the worst part of this whole thing. Mm. I'm just trying to help. Mm. As a, you know, as a family man. As Bro, a he is selling this. This is, man, I don't know why we didn't get this years ago. Maybe it took time for him to become this person to see who he really is. But he is selling this because he's, like, he's coming up, man, I'm just, I'm just a family man. I'm just trying to help people out. He comes off like he's the victim in this situation when he's really not. And I love that, bro. He is, man, this is good. Cousin, just trying to help them. Just trying to lift them up, trying to trying to get them to the next level. By beating them up? 
I mean, that's what's going. That's what you're expecting to do this weekend, right? I mean, how are you helping them if you? <laughs> you think my family delivers the mail? You think we're part of, you know, the ballet or something? No, <laughs> we, we run the world of professional wrestling and sports entertainment. Mm. Sometimes you got to have a little tough love. We're not dealing. We're dealing with bees now, billions. This mm. is a huge industry. A major business decisions happen every single week. If they're not up to par, then they need to get smacked around a little bit. That's mm -hmm. the way I look at it. Paul Hammond, I mean. <laughs> There are very, very few people on the planet Earth that can talk as much the trash as you. I mean, you can really get at people. When you look at the WWE right now, I mean, is there anybody that stands out above the crowd? I mean, not just now, but in the history. Who are the best trash, talk trash talkers in your estimation? Vince McMahon behind the scenes. Behind oh, the scenes. for sure. Oh, he, he, he said that quickly. I believe everything he just said. Vince McMahon? Behind the scenes, I know he talks his trash. I know he do. I know he do. And that's how sometimes certain things we see on TV happen. Some certain things happen. For example, when Gunther came from NXT, or where they saw him in NXT, or whatever, or uh, not, well, when he came from NXT UK, or whatnot, Vince was like, nah, bro, you need to lose weight before we do anything with you getting to the main roster. And that's exactly what he did. Oh, that Gunther guy, he, he looks vicious, but he's a little too flabby for me. Ah, uh, nah, if he wants to be on my roster, he's gonna have to lose that weight, pal. Hey, Gunther, lose that weight, pal. And guess what? He lost the weight. And I know he was talking shit backstage. I know he was that's vince oh he's all what even now he's what <laughs> oh my god him vince uh, McMahon, really yes really chairman of the board uh, yeah chairman of the board i mean and also he controls the paychecks that's right yeah so uh, so so, so, you, so you're giving that to him so he talks more trash than you if he wants to yeah he's paying the paychecks that's true that's true. yeah so he starts that. talking what, trash. what wrestler i'd say myself because I, I don't need <laughs> just the microphone. I do it mid-match. Yep. I, I, I'll, I'll take it back to the gridiron like we're on the football field. Mm. You know, like we're in between snaps and I'm sitting there chirping at the office. Nah, bro. And I love what they've done with Roman. Because Roman didn't... He used to talk, but he doesn't do it as much now. Back then as he does now. Now, since he became a heel, that's one of my favorite parts of his matches. He's talking trash to the camera as he's beating up his opponent. Like, bro, I do this all day. I do this all day, bro. I, no, bro, you ain't ready for me. <laughs> it's a lineman, so to me, that's a part of the revolution. Uh, you know, me changing this business is, is putting different touches, showing different sides and shades of this business. So. What, what, what could I do? You know, I, I usually don't find myself aspiring for something, but what could I do to be a wise man? What could I do to be a Paul Heyman? You can't. No. I have no chance. He's a, he's a You're telling me I have no chance? I mean, I can make you an honorary rabbi. <gasps> <laughs> there, there is a process with a moil that's involved that we, we could talk about another time. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm, I'm in, I, I never called myself the wise man. I'm special counsel to the tribal chief. This honor, this lifelong honor was bestowed upon me by the tribal chief Roman Reigns. I wouldn't dare call myself a wise man. So the only way I'd have an opportunity to is if you recognize and acknowledge by the tribal chief. The tribal chief. It's like the king or the queen knighting you. <laughs> Unless Maybe. I find somebody else that I think can take them oh, out and I represent them. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> what? You're man enough to make the move. <gasps> we have to go to commercial. Wait, go to commercial. Go to commercial. How about that? You're man enough to make the move. <gasps> We have to go to commercial. Go to commercial. Go to commercial right now. I need time to come back from that. I think go Roman's marinating on what you had to say as well. I think he might have more to say. <laughs> that was great, man. <laughs> that was that was fun, bro. I'm looking forward to SummerSlam. I do think there's going to be something interesting that's going to happen. I cannot fucking wait. SummerSlam is looking to be a fantastic show. Jay versus Roman Reigns is going to be a fantastic match. I know they're going to knock it out the park. Very interested to see what's going to happen on this uh, episode of SmackDown, the Go Home Show. I do think it's going to be uh, better than what we saw for the Go Home Show for Monday Night Raw, man. But comment down below. Let me know, man. Did you guys enjoy uh, the first take 
uh, interview um, that they had today with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. Uh, I, obviously, I'm not going to check out the whole thing because, you know, copyright reasons. But if you was able to check out the whole thing, let me know what you thought about it as well, man. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, best champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.